challenged him was former Mayor Willie Brown. He said, no, you have to run because he was a little reluctant about yeah. it. So, of course, we are going to continue to follow this. We have a lot of reaction, um, including someone who is with Joe Vasquez in San Francisco. Joe? Me, the former mayor and former assembly speaker. And uh, good morning, Mr. Mayor. And first of all, I know he was not just a colleague, but a friend. And my condolences. What's going through your mind right now? Well, I don't know San Francisco without Ed Lee. He has been a part of everything. He was uh, at one time human rights director. He was head of uh, uh, purchasing in my administration. He was head of public works in my administration. He became the CAO for the city. And uh, I participated in helping him uh, become the mayor. Uh, when uh, Mr. Moscone, when, when Mr. Uh, Newsom moved on to become the uh, lieutenant governor. So I, I can't imagine the city without Ed Lee. His life and modern politics are intertwined in this city. I understand you uh, were told a few details about his passing. He was shopping at the moment, grocery shopping. Yeah, I uh, think that it would be appropriate to say that Anita, his wife, had sent him to do his family chores. And one of his family chores was to uh, shop for the family at an appropriate Safeway store in his neighborhood. And Ed Lee never moved away from being the husband and the father, as well as the mayor. And as he was grocery shopping, that's when an ambulance was called and he was rushed to the hospital. I was told that uh, at the time that he was shopping, uh, he had uh, obviously an incident involving uh, a heart attack and uh, he was, uh, they did everything they could to possibly save him and, and uh, finally uh, they had to acknowledge that he had expired. As we've mentioned, you had a big hand in making sure that he was the interim mayor when Gavin Newsom went on to become lieutenant governor. What is it you saw in him? What is it that the city has seen since then? Well, Italy had really been tested in every category. Uh, I recall when I uh, introduced him uh, as the new mayor in that swearing-in ceremony, I reminded everybody that he had literally been the best qualified person ever to hold the job. Unlike all the rest of us who got elected, we got elected by our skills to convince people and to sell people on us as an idea. Ed Lee earned that title by demonstration of being an, an efficient person who could manage a huge enterprise like San Francisco. As we've mentioned, almost 30 years at City Hall. Uh, and let me ask you this, so uh, he's appointed interim mayor. There's a moment there where he's saying, I don't want to run for mayor. <laughs> what, tell us now what, what happened behind the scenes there because he's now been elected twice since then. Well, he really did not want to run for mayor, uh, but uh, when he became the interim mayor uh, on Newsom's exit uh, and he said that he would not run, uh, it became clear to him that the city needed him more than probably anybody else to hold the city together. And he uh, eventually changed his mind and did just that, and the voters rewarded him, as you have just described appropriately. The population of San Francisco now is more than a third Asian American. As the first Asian American mayor of the city of San Francisco, you know, that was a moment in time that was a long time coming. And, and what do you suppose his legacy is now? Well, for openers, that's the height of his legacy, right out of the box. He was sim simply, for a major American city, the first Asian uh, of Asian descent in the capacity as the chief executive officer of an American city, and one as important as San Francisco. Uh, he was instantly flashed around the world, uh, and this was treated more like a nation state uh, than a city. And Ed Lee exemplified all the qualities required under those circumstances. I want to shift gears a little bit as we've been reporting uh, Supervisor London Breed now has become acting mayor as per the city charter. Uh, she does not become interim mayor until uh, 
or unless that uh, the Board of Supervisors, six supervisors vote her in. But um, tell us more about London Breed. A lot of our viewers are not familiar with her, but you have uh, spent some time with her. A London Breed is uh, San Francisco born and raised. Uh, she comes from well, on the other side of the tracks, so to speak, in San Francisco. She was raised in public housing, uh, primarily by her grandmother. She's a University of California at Davis graduate. She is a USF uh, graduate on the master side. Uh, she has been an employee of the city and county of San Francisco. She's run a community-based organization, uh, the Western Edition Community Center over on Fulton Street. Uh, she's been served on various boards and commissions, redevelopment and uh, fire, and she has uh, been elected um, against an incumbent appointed by Mayor Lee to the Board of Supervisors. She defeated that person in the 5th District, and she's been re-elected handsomely in the 5th District, and under the charter, uh, she is uh, after being rewarded with the presidency of the board by her colleagues, she's now the acting mayor under the charter, and I suspect that she will be elected by her colleagues as the interim mayor. And in that way, all of the things that she's done over the more than four decades of her life and all of the things that she has stood for on all of the things that she has advocated for, all the fights that she's engaged in have been reflective of a tenacious, a uh, very tough, uh, wonderful, warm uh, human being. And so she will be, in my opinion, a good mayor. And you were telling me you expect that she will be sworn in at any moment. Uh, I suspect that she's probably already been sworn in. If you're the acting mayor, you probably should be sworn in so that there's no issue. Mm -hmm. You may have a public ceremony at some point later on, as was the case with uh, uh, Diane Feinstein when she became the mayor as a result of Moscone's assassination. But the city deserves to have a person with all the credentials, and you get the credentials uh, by operation of the charter and the swearing in. For our viewers who are just joining us, we're speaking with former Mayor Willie Brown about the passing of the current mayor, Mayor Ed Lee. He died in the middle of the night. And uh, I just want to get your final thoughts, Mr. Mayor, about Ed Lee and you know the legacy that he leaves the city with. Well, at 65, he clearly died much too early. He clearly had a lot more to do and a lot uh, more to give uh, to the city. Um, I'm going to miss him personally, and, and I think the city will miss him. Willie Brown, thank you. Our condolences again. Thank you for joining us. Back to you in the studio. And uh, Joe, thank you for that. Uh, Joe Vasquez with uh, former Mayor Willie Brown of San Francisco. If you're just joining us right now, uh, the former mayor, Willie Brown, saying that Mayor Ed Lee was grocery shopping last night uh, before 